Okay. Now on Wednesday the 4th, I'm hearing be careful what you eat. And that trickled over into Thursday the 5th. And it has an arrow coming out of it going into your past. Now when they're talking about be careful with what you eat, we could be talking about literally be careful what you put in your mouth, okay? Food poisoning, whatever it might be. But it can also be symbolic of be careful what you're ingesting. Be careful what you're buying. Be careful what you're applying to your life or your thought processing, okay, or your judgment calls uh, that isn't authentic, that isn't true, that isn't healthy or right. You better process what you're eating, so to speak, okay? This day and age, we say don't eat processed food, okay? So that's interesting, too, because it, it came from somebody else, okay? What, are you buying something that's garbage, you know, and should not be going into your body, also known as your spirit, okay, and being um, used in your everyday life. Be careful about that. Um, the way that it showed you looking backward can also mean that you're having to analyze a lot about whether or not the things that you're thinking are really working for you. If you were to look back at patterns, right, uh, and you're seeing, oh, well, things aren't going very well. Maybe it's time for a change. Don't keep beating your head up against a brick wall. Uh, Friday the 6th and Saturday the 7th, I heard you talking a lot and <clears throat> feeling pretty free and open to share your, your thoughts and, more importantly, your emotions. And I heard you shouldn't really be sharing with everybody. Okay, so... Let's be a little bit more conservative on who we um, engage with and how we engage with certain people. It would appear that for some of you, there could be a lover or, hmm, I can't tell if this is a spouse. Could be, okay, could be a spouse. Um, sometimes we get caught up in negative toxic relationships and it takes a while to realize that we're there. But for some of you, it could be someone new that you're dating or, you know, maybe even someone you consider a friend. But it seems to me that, that there's someone coming in with a bit of an agenda where you're concerned. And I think that whenever people are being overly inviting to get you to share something that's hard for you in your life, you should be <coughs> on guard. I'm getting this closed throat chakra, right? You should be on guard about why. <coughs> Do they want to be there to help you? Do they plan to use it against you? All right. Um, a lot of people use gaslighting and things like this. So like narcissists, you know, so would they, would they want to know where your vulnerabilities are so that they could sort of, you know, kick you when you're down and mask it and come back in and be the savior. Okay. And rescue you. And it's all like the whole time you're being manipulated. You need to watch for this situation. It's very bizarre. Monday, the 9th, I saw you in a bit of a, a play, quite literally. This can mean that you're going to the play or New York or Broadway or whatever, a musical, a concert, enjoy. Um, it can also mean that you need to get out and play a little bit more. But I saw it more as theater. And I saw you more as playing, uh, maybe playing the fool. And so this could very well be connected to the other situation I just mentioned where you're playing a part. Okay, you're acting it out too to find out what's really going on there. So play your role, keep your mask on. Wednesday the 11th, I'm hearing, um, listen to reason and make sure you know what it is that you are rebelling against. <laughs> this sounds like my daily message today or maybe it was yesterday, but but be reasonable about what it is that you're rebelling against. If there's something that you don't uh, like, if there's someone or a situation that you're stuck in that you don't like, you know, but you've done everything you're supposed to do. You have fulfilled all of your responsibilities and you are still supposed to be there. Stop rebelling against it. Stop fighting it. This was my daily message today, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Stop fighting it. Stop living in the past and living in the future. And try to be more in the present moment and ask yourself, okay, if I'm here, why am I here? What are the lessons that I'm supposed to be learning? What am I supposed to be observing? And how can I grow in this situation? Also, try not to be black and white. Try not to say, 
Well, if I am here, then I will never be here. Well, this is bad and this is good. Well, this is wrong, therefore this can never be right. It is possible that if you bloom where you're planted with a good positive attitude and you have some serenity about where you are, that you will be able to utilize where you are. Nothing is an accident. The universe is not wasting time and there are reasons for everything. So there must be one to this too and it can apply to a brighter future. You don't want it to be wasted time. 